Hi. So in this session, we'll be discussing about some basic parts of the union budget, that is the receipts, expenditure, and the different types of deficits. Now, first of all, the receipts. So receipts are something where the government gets its income from. Okay. So what are the different types of receipts? What are the different ways the receipts can be classified? Is this. The receipts can be classified as revenue receipts and the capital receipts. The capital basically deals with the assets and the revenue of course deals with the recurring receipts which the government get. Okay, that can be classified into taxes and non-tax receipts. Now the tax receipts of course you know what is the income tax, the long term capital gains and so on. The different type of taxes is where the government gets the income from, that is the tax receipts. And the non-tax receipts is the products or the services which government sell. Okay, so that is the non-tax receipts. Okay, and the capital receipts. This is somewhere the government earns an income which it has already invested, such as it has given loans to certain organizations. The government gains receipts by the repayment of that loans from that organizations. Okay, or you can say disinvestment in certain structures, disinvestment in railways and so on. So these are the different ways the receipts can be classified. So these are different sources from where the government gains its income. Now, the income has to be spent for the country again. So that is the way the government spends that is called as the expenditure. The expenditure again can be classified as the revenue expenditure as well as the capital expenditure. Capital as you know, it can be gaining of assets, right? So the capital expenditure can be classified into asset formation okay purchasing certain assets for the government or you can say giving away loans to certain organizations and so on so this is where the government spends its capital expenditure and whereas the revenue expenditure is somewhere something which is called as the recurring expenditures okay the, such as the salaries or the subsidies to be given or the loans to be repaid and so on so all these are the different expenditure that the government incurs now, the detailed study of the receipts and the expenditure is what we call as brief budget. Okay. Now, if the receipts are more than the expenditure, then we say the budget is surplus. Okay. We have the surplus amount of money which the government has, which can be stored for the future. Okay. So, this is called a surplus budget. Of course, the countries like US might have surplus budget, but the developing countries like India have the budget in deficit. Now, what is deficit? If the expenditure is more than the income, then we can say the budget is in deficit. And if the receipts and the expenditure is same, then we say the budget is balanced. Okay. Now, deficit, of course, it's a very important part. The deficit doesn't actually mean that the economy is going down. It's a, it's a sign of a developing nation that it is willing to spend more on different type of schemes or something okay so deficit does not mean that the economy is going down in fact it means the economy is progressing of course the deficit shouldn't be too large if it is too large it means your economic policies are not well defined okay that is the sign of the nation's economy going down now let us understand this with an illustration with small figures now imagine yourself as a president of a small country your income for this year is $100, whereas the expenditure is $150. So the difference between the expenditure and the income is the primary deficit. So the primary deficit is $50 and that is the amount you need to borrow from someone in order to fulfill your expenditures. Now suddenly you realize even last year you have taken some loan to fulfill your expenditure and the interest to be paid on that is $20. So now your total expenditure comes out to be $170. So the fiscal deficit is the difference between the total expenditure including the interest minus the income. So that is $70. Okay, so let us understand these type of deficits with the figures of 2020 and 21 for India. So this graph represents the income versus the expenditure. Now the difference between the income and the expenditure is actually called as the fiscal deficit. Okay. These are the figures in lakhs. Now 
If we just consider the revenue part of the income as well as the expenditure, the difference between the income and the expenditure is called as the revenue deficit. If we consider the complete income and the expenditure again, some part of the revenue expenditure is the interest which the government pays on the previous loans. So if that interest is removed from the expenditure, this difference between the income and the expenditure is called as the primary deficit. So the fiscal deficit denotes what is the exact amount which the government requires to complete its expenditures and the primary deficits actually indicates what is the amount which is required by the government from some amount of external sources such as loans from different type of organizations or the countries to meet its requirements apart from the repayment of the interest of the previous loans. Now these different type of deficits are not always expressed in figures. They are expressed as a percentage and a percentage of what? The percentage of GDP that is the gross domestic income. Now what is the gross domestic income? GDP is the sum of the values of the goods and services produced inside the country. Okay, all the services or the all the goods which are produced inside the country, the addition of all those values is the GDP. Okay, and if you calculate the physical deficit as a percentage of GDP, you'll get the physical deficit as 6.8%. Okay, so this is how the fiscal deficit is calculated. We'll be learning more about the GDP in the coming session.